guys, it's Shelby, and today I wanted to share some sustainable swaps for going back to school with you. Now, I'm not personally going back to school this year. I've been out of college for oh, almost four years, so this isn't my personal experience or anything like that, but I thought I would gather my best tips and tools for whether you're going back to school for college or high school or if you have kids going into younger school than that, just to take some things into consideration and talk to you about a couple brands and products that I think would be really helpful in reducing your waste when you're going to school and also supporting more sustainable brands than like the big brands that are kind of out there in the big box stores. First I'll go through some basic tips and things to keep in mind and then I'll go through some products and things that you could purchase that would be a lower waste option than their alternatives. I'm going to be talking about some products today that I got from Earth Hero to show you guys and I'm going to be doing a giveaway with some of them so make sure you stay tuned to the end for that but this video is brought to you by Earth Hero because I'm always telling you guys they are basically a one-stop shop for sustainable swaps they don't only sell zero waste swaps they also sell things like sustainable school supplies so we're gonna be talking about a couple brands that I know do sustainable stuff and it is sold through Earth Hero so you can use my discount code Shelby 10 to get 10% off of your order for your school supplies which I know going back to school can be really expensive what with kids wanting new clothes and you also have to buy them new school supplies and all that stuff so I figured the discount code would be helpful so working with Earth Hero on this video I thought would be helpful for that reason as well if you guys don't already know who Earth Hero is they definitely support me and this channel to the fullest extent so I would love if you are looking to purchase anything for someone for school this year if you would support them they are a ethical and sustainable business that has a five-step process to determine if a product is going to make its way into Earth Hero or not to assure that those products and businesses are not greenwashing and that they are actually sustainable so you can always feel like you're making the best choice with Earth Hero. All of their shipping is also carbon neutral so if you're ever worried about that part of your footprint on the planet you don't have to worry about it with Earth Hero. Obviously they give you guys a discount. They're a member of 1% for the planet. They support me. They're just an all-around amazing business so if you are looking to purchase anything always check Earth Hero first. That's kind of my default. If you're looking for something sustainable check Earth Hero and then after that go from there that's just my new my new go-to but we'll talk more about the products later don't worry about that right now first I want to talk to you guys about some tips to keep in mind aside from just purchasing individual things right because the whole idea of zero waste and of sustainable living and really minimalism as well is to really think through purchases before you make them without buying anything right so the last resort is like let me buy something and like a baby step before that is let me buy something sustainable but way before that is supposed to be reduce, which means not buying anything, or reuse, which also means not buying anything. So let's get into the tips. First tip is to go digital. Now there's a lot of buzz out there about whether digital is better for the environment or not, but if we're talking about things like textbooks, manuals, whatever else it is that they have for kids in schools these days, it is better if you already have a laptop or an iPad to just buy your books on a digital copy. Most textbooks, at least when I was still in college, had a digital version and a physical version. And even if you're buying a book secondhand, you could be taking that from someone else who would want to be buying it secondhand, if that makes sense. So by you using the one that's online, there's still a secondhand paper book for someone who really needs it or someone who just prefers it or someone who doesn't know better than to get a physical book. So I always say that even if you're going to buy a secondhand book, really probably the better option if you already have an electronic device that you can read your book on is to get the electronic version. If you don't already have a laptop or an iPad or something to put your book on, I definitely think you should consider buying secondhand electronics. I have been buying secondhand electronics for years before I really understood how unethical and unsustainable the production of new technology was I just did it because it was cheaper which is also a really great part of why you should do it especially when you're buying school supplies because that shit gets expensive but laptops iPads TI calculators etc you can always buy them secondhand either you can check resources like eBay you can check things like buns sometimes people sell stuff like that on Facebook so those are all places you can purchase secondhand electronics but I am going to come out with an in-depth video of how to recycle your electronics and where to purchase them sustainably and responsibly and make sure that you're getting a good quality product I want to have a video all about that later it's taking me a little while to put that together but I know a lot of you are on the lookout for it so I just wanted you to know keep secondhand in mind when you're purchasing electronics tip number two is to use what you already 
have. So before you go out and buy new pencils, new pens, new notepads, all of those sort of things, make sure you don't already have some lying around. After school supplies went on sale back when I was still in high school, my mom would go and snack like all the notebooks for like 75% off and stash them. And then the next year we would have some to use, but we would sometimes forget that we had them and go and buy more. So don't be making that mistake if you already have supplies you can use around your home. Make sure you're using that up first. Similarly with tip number three, use what someone else has first. So not just what you have, but maybe if your friends or family has stuff lying around that you can use, do that. Tip number four might be a hard one if you go to a school or if you're still in a school where they give you like those huge supply lists, right? Because I think a lot of people, at least when I was still in school, I don't know if things have changed that much. It's really making me feel old. But I know a lot of schools come out with like a whole list of all the things you're gonna need for all of the school year and they expect your parents to go out and buy it or they sell those little packs in the school that you can buy pre made or whatever. If you go to a public school, they can't literally force you to buy those things. So try to do some pushback on those because I know that when I was a kid, we would buy those pre-made packs. And then at the end of the year, there would be literally hundreds of like highlighters left over, colored pencils, the glue that they give you, all that stuff. So if you could just do a little bit of a push back on what they tell you you need and what you have to buy up front and wait until you actually need it to purchase it, that could be really, really helpful, I think. So for example, things like glue, it's not something you use every day in school. Likely you'd be able to know when you're going to use it in advance because it would be for a project that would be on the schedule, right? Typically. So yeah, if you can, wait until you actually need something to buy it rather than buying everything up front. And then tip number five is one that I think I try to preach more and that I hope people are starting to understand more and more as you watch more of this channel, but it is to buy things that are quality. Okay, you guys, so just for a random example, the hair tie that I have in my hair right now, I found it on the ground. <laughs> I find hair ties on the ground and I wash them and I repurpose them, don't judge me. But the point is, I really, really love this hair tie because it doesn't get stretched out. It's kind of unfortunate because I don't know what it's made of, but regardless, I've kept up with it for months. And it's because it's such a good quality hair tie that if I lost it, I would be really sad about it. But you can do something similar with like your pens and your pencils, your computers, your laptops, all of the things that you would normally buy and people replace quite often, like backpacks, all those sort of things. If you buy something that you really, really love and you don't want to lose it, like you're very careful to not want to lose it, chances are that you won't. Because I know hair ties are something that typically people undervalue because they're so easily replaceable, they're not really valuable, they're just, cheap little things, you know what I mean? People don't keep up with them. But when you have a really good pin that like really surpasses all the other pins you've ever used, either for you think it's really cute or it's really functional, whatever it is, you'll keep up with it if it's a really good quality pen, pencil, hair tie, whatever it is. So it is to definitely really consider not only like buying something that's really good quality and not just that it's expensive because I got this hair tie for free, but the point is to find something that you really value so that you're not constantly looking for a replacement for it and that you value that item enough not to lose it because you don't need like 42 pens and pencils for a school year. You could literally just use one if you found a good one and you kept up with it. So those are all the tips that I had. Now I wanna show you a few things um, and a few resources you can use to find eco-friendly supplies, like literal supplies. So like I said on Earth Hero, they have a lot of great brands that they sell that are really good. And Onyx and Green is one brand that I've talked about in the past. Maybe two years ago I made a video about school supplies and I talked a lot about Onyx and Green. They also now sell through Earth Hero. They make literally almost anything you can think of for school supply. So for example, this is like a stone paper notebook. The paper is made of stone paper, so it's water resistant, which is really cool. And then obviously like the outside is cork. They have other notebooks as well. They also make erasers from recycled rubber, which is stinking cool and you're not gonna find in any other brands. Last time I did a video about school supplies, I gave away a backpack made from recycled newspaper um, by Onyx and Green, which is just so cool. So they have a ton of resources there for you if you want an eco-friendly version of something. I think they even have like school scissors made from recycled materials. So definitely check out Onyx and Green themselves on Earth Hero so you can get the 10% off. But they're all around a really cool brand for almost anything you're looking for school supplies related. Definitely have to check them out. Another brand that I would highly recommend that also sells on Earth Hero of course is a brand called Tree Free. So they have these notebooks that are made with no trees involved um, and they are like just regular ruled notebooks. I'm really excited about this one. I, I might buy one for myself. but. 
I'm going to include this in the giveaway I'm going to do at the end of this video because obviously this is like school supplies and I don't personally need it so I definitely want it to go to good use with one of you guys but they have this one and then they have this one that has a whale on it and they also on their website had one um, that had like other plants on it and it said wild they're just really cute and there's no trees that need to be cut down to make these so tree free is a really good brand you can check out also on earth hero to get the 10% off and in addition to like just sustainable school supplies they also have like one of these adult coloring notebooks which will also be in the giveaway which I also low-key want to keep for myself because uh, Madison was going through here and she really likes some of these but I'm gonna include all this in the giveaway so make sure you stay tuned until the end to find out how to enter now you might be wondering about backpacks and what backpacks are sustainable versus not etc I actually have a whole blog post about sustainable backpacks it will be linked in the description if you don't want to get the one I'm talking about if you're looking for something specific etc my main concern with purchasing something like a backpack is to buy something that is quality and that will last you definitely always take that into consideration the blog post is ones that are made from like sustainable fabrics upcycled fabrics and things like that the backpack I wanted to show you guys that I got a couple months ago for traveling because my current backpack the one that you guys know I've carried for years doesn't have a water bottle um, holder for me to put my water bottle when I'm traveling and it also doesn't have a good laptop sleeve that's easy to get in and out when you're going through TSA so I got this backpack specifically for that reason and this one is by ten tree it is made from recycled plastic bottles so it's sustainable in that way I I actually saved the little like tag manufacturer thing that came on my backpack and there's also this little tree code if you guys didn't know ten tree when you buy something from them has this little token so you can go and type it in on their website and track where the trees that are being planted by your purchase are so for each purchase you make with ten tree they plant 10 trees could you have guessed that and you can track them they give you like things where you can track where your trees are and it's very it's a very transparent company so I really appreciate that about 10 tree um, you can buy 10 tree on earth hero and you so you can get the discount as well but I kept this little pamphlet just because I think it's so cool when companies point out what they're doing and how sustainable it is and how you're making a difference so this just explained that 31 plastic bottles were recycled to be turned into this backpack um, how many carbon emissions you saved by buying recycled plastic Plastic. the buckles are made from factory waste like it's just an all-around really cool backpack so I wanted to share that one with you guys but like I said if you're looking for something more specific I have a whole list of recommendations in the blog post that you can check out then I thought I would talk specifically about supplies I think that the most sustainable thing you can do for pens is get a sustainable refillable fountain pen as opposed to like disposable plastic ones this one I've had for years as well it's just bamboo you refill it and you can write it with this if you're looking for a sustainable alternative that is refillable and not disposable plastic these are good and I'll have this linked in the description and then as far as pencils go I've heard there's a brand out there that makes completely metal mechanical pencils so they're refillable which is definitely a good alternative to plastic mechanical pencils but you can also purchase just wooden pencils as long as they're sustainably harvested wood then I think that's a better option than the plastic refillable pencils that's just my opinion I'd love to know what you think on that which one you think is more sustainable and then something else you can do if you are personally like in college or you're watching this and you're in high school or if you're a parent of someone who is younger in school is really look into a TerraCycle recycling box now these come for all sorts of different things it's basically a way for people to drop off their recycling so like your school buys the box and then anyone in your school can contribute to that box and those things get recycled so they have it for all sorts of things but one that would be really good for a classroom scenario would be the office supplies zero waste recycling TerraCycle box if you want to make a bigger difference beyond just yourself you can get people in your school to donate to that stuff or whenever they need to recycle things like office supplies that are no longer usable they can recycle them in the TerraCycle box this is a really great project for anybody in student council so even if you're not personally in student council you could recommend it to your student council president that was me in the high school you could also just recommend it to your teacher you could recommend it to like a PTA board whatever it is but it would be really good to get more recycling programs like that into your school and if your school can fund it anyone can bring stuff donate it's not really donating it's to recycle them but TerraCycle recycles so many things that you can't recycle in your curbside so if you have the opportunity to get a recyclable TerraCycle box in your school it's a really good idea so you could take the initiative on that to make a difference beyond just yourself and I know you guys are always asking about how to do more of that so that's a really great resource and you can get TerraCycle boxes through Earth Hero and then your school or your PTA or your student council whatever it is can also use my discount code 
when they use my discount code, I don't get paid for it. I get paid for affiliate links, but the discount code is just to help you guys out. So if you do want someone to get involved to do something, like I said, more than what you can personally do, that's a really great resource. And then lastly, I thought we'd talk about zero waste lunches. I know I talk about zero waste meal prep and my zero waste essentials I've talked about, which are essentially what I'm going to talk about now. But reusable stainless steel Tupperware is an amazing thing for people to take to school because it is lightweight like plastic, but not breakable like glass. Eco lunch boxes will last you forever. Not only are they super easy to take and carry with you, but they're also really cute and I hope they will start conversations about why your kid or maybe you has a stainless steel box instead of a plastic one. I always am looking for like the conversation starters. Do you guys know this by now? I'm always looking for the conversation starters. So an eco lunchbox that is stainless steel is a great idea. And if you have something that would typically go in a Ziploc baggie, a single use plastic baggie, stasher bag has their regular size stasher bags obviously, which I I love, I have a ton of, but they also just came out with these little guys. So they're little bitty snack packs. I know these will come in handy a lot with smaller kids or really anybody on the go. If you're in school, packing these with like little snacks for yourself is an amazing idea. I used to bring stasher bags with me in school, but they weren't these cute little ones. So uh, these are just really handy for little kids or anybody on the go. So. I wanted to give a shout out to those. And these are on our tier already, the little ones like this. Oh, okay, are you still here? Did you make it through this whole video? It was kind of a long one, I know. But I wanted to give you guys tips and things to think about, just different ways that maybe you haven't heard before to be more sustainable with your school supplies. Like I said, I'm not personally going to school, so I would love to hear any of your tips on how you plan to keep your kids, or maybe you, more sustainable when going back to school because I haven't had to consider every little aspect of it because I'm not in school. For instance, like sustainability, sustainable glue, like where do you go for that? I'm not really sure. I'd love to hear any tips you guys have in the comments. Also, anyone who is looking for more tips that I didn't cover, go check out people in the comments because you guys are always so helpful for each other and I really, really appreciate that. I also really appreciate Earth Hero partnering up with me on this video, so if you are in the market for anything that I talked about or really any sustainable swap in general, I highly recommend using Earth Hero. The links in the descriptions are always affiliate links and I appreciate if you use them, but I don't make money if you use my discount code so if you don't feel comfortable with that you can still get the discount without making me money but I hope that since I make free content here for you you would help me make an income and pay my bills anyway guys thank you so much for watching like I said I'd love to hear from you in the comments and remember until next time you cannot do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do bye guys <laughs>